Now, I'm not on TikTok and I'm not on Instagram, but the hairdressers show me. They give me updates every day. Hi, Peter Overton here from Nine News and 60 Minutes, still doing the odd 60 Minutes report. Uh, today we're going to look at some old photos of my 31 years here at Nine. I do, I absolutely remember that, my first ever publicity shot. And as I reflect on the hair, it's pretty ordinary, very ordinary. I can't even see how they allowed that to go to print, actually. Yeah, that, I remember we've won two Logies. That's representing the newsroom for most outstanding news coverage and great moments for Nine News. I think that was for Cyclone coverage and we won one for most outstanding news coverage for the Blue Mountains bushfires. So great memories and a great tribute to the team, whether it's helicopter pilots, network control, graphic artists, producers, chiefs of staff, camera, sound, producers. That Logie holding it there represents the great amount of people that put our news bulletins to air every single day. Yes, I remember that photo. That was on the front of the Sun Herald for Father's Day and my little girls there are now teenage girls and I think the bigger they get the challenges get bigger as well. But a great family photo, never forget it. I know I had to bribe the two of them to smile and nestle in with a Barbie doll each. Well they say opposites attract and we couldn't be more opposite but it works, we're a great team. She's a, an absolute beauty. What I love about Jessica is she's, you know, just, she's a self-starter and she's from nothing. She's created a great TikTok presence and Instagram presence, and it's a business for her as well, no question. She tries to drag me into a lot of her productions and I am a most reluctant starter, to say the least. I remember that photo, it was a sad day in a way because Brian, I just interviewed him about his cancer. I went round to his house and I kept in touch with Brian and go and have coffee with him after he retired because he was such an influence on my career. And we went round and did that interview and he was had his sparkle in his eye and his quick sense of humour, but he wasn't so well. And then, of course, we lost Brian and I was privileged enough to be asked by him if I would deliver a eulogy at his funeral, which was an incredible honour. Yes, just looking at that photo, Tom staring me down. That was a hell of an interview, I'll never forget it. But I held my own and I was happy about that. I didn't change, that's who I am, I, you know. I thought they were fair questions. You know what, I hold no ill will towards Tom Cruise. No ill will at all. It was just one of those interviews that didn't perhaps pan out as everyone thought it would. But I went and saw Top Gun Maverick and a few TV, a few newspapers around the world wanted to interview me about that. And I said, no, 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 it's Tom's time on the world stage now. I'll just stand back. But the movie, absolutely fantastic. And Tom, absolutely brilliant. If that photo was 1992, I started in 91 here. So I've been here 31 years. So it's nice still to be here in television. It's always a good thing when you survive. But I love this place, I love coming to work every day, I love what I do, I, most importantly, I love the people I work with. Such a great team, such a great bunch, bunch of friends, really great. I think the last few years have been extraordinary for news. COVID, the biggest story I'll ever cover, I think, in my career, without question. It was day in, day out. It was relentless. The Queen's funeral, my career highlight, without question, standing next to Tracy Grimshaw for, I think, nearly 11 hours at Westminster Abbey. It was an incredible experience to have that position for a woman that was loved by so many. You've got Ukraine and Russia, which is just devastating in terms of the human impact and us so far away, but seeing the devastation of human life and families broken apart, the images that stick with me are those families, the kids, the mums, the wives being put on trains to escape Ukraine while their husbands and partners stay behind to fight. So it's been a heck of a year, news-wise, a heck of a few years, and uh, I wonder what next year will bring.